Hi everyone, it's Lady Goddess helping you find peace and guidance. How is everyone this evening? I hope you're all having a great evening and I have something very special for you. Tonight's pick a card is going to be all about sex. It's going to be how does your partner see you physically and how do they want to have sex with you and what do they want to do with you. So if this topic makes you blush, then I think my friend, you don't belong here. Okay, so this will be a mature 18 plus video. And um, of course, it's a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. So how this is going to work is I have three different images here. Okay, and I want you to be drawn to one of these images. Okay, so we have the image one, which is represented here by inner child. Okay, we have image two, let's hope she doesn't fall this other one which is being represented by victim consciousness. And we have image three, which is being represented by how teachable are you? Okay. So I want you to concentrate on the images. Tell me how you feel about these images. Okay, so I want you to think about your person or persons and based on these images, we're going to figure out how they see you sexually and what they want to do to you, okay, in the bedroom. Now, I will say all three images here are women. If you are a man watching this, of course, this I will give male attributes. And I do definitely um, promote any kind of relationship. I just want to make that very clear. So it doesn't matter what kind of relationship you're in. You just pick the best parts that resonate for you. Okay, I do want to get started on this sexy reading, okay, and there's a lot in store that you guys don't know about. Okay, so I just moved the camera. I'm sorry about that. So for the first, the first pile, which is the inner child. I'm sorry if I'm moving that for you. Inner child. Hmm. Well, can you tell me, spirit, about this? How does this person see the person watching this video? How do they see them sexually? Well, I will tell you one thing, if you were drawn to inner child, then you have a very, very childlike demeanor. You could be very playful, especially in the bedroom, and I think that's something that your person really, really enjoys. There is a sweetness to you. There's the fun factor in the bedroom. I'm getting that immediately. Okay. Oh, your person loves you. Oh, your person loves you. Your person loves the inner child within you, okay? 
They absolutely adore you in the bedroom. You are such a temptation. Okay, I know exactly what is going on here in this first pile. You come off being little miss or mister, sweet and innocent. But we all know that you're not. Okay? You are absolutely full of love. Full of charm. Very playful. Okay? Very, very playful. Your person sees you as sexy as hell. Nice, soft skin. If you're a woman, I see that you do have some, what I consider to be fuller breast. But I'm not saying it like you have huge boobs. You just have a fuller breast, a softness to your breast, okay? I do feel like your skin is extremely soft. There's almost a youthful look to your face that your person absolutely loves because you do look innocent. You look innocent and sweet, but you are definitely not, okay? In the bedroom, you are a fucking cougar. You are a temptress. You tempt your person, okay? They want to be with you in every single which way. They admire your beauty, okay? They absolutely adore how you tease them constantly. You make them feel something that they've never felt with anyone else before. And as much as you tempt them, as much as they want to throw you on the bed, is as much as they love you. Your person is absolutely adored by you. They adore you. You see here this man looking at this woman and then this man wanting to be with this woman. Not only does your person want to be with you, but they also dream about you, okay? They have sexual fantasies about you, okay? You are the naughty, nice girl, okay? Miss Prim and Pop, proper in public but behind closed doors you really are the biggest biggest purring kitten okay the biggest your person loves 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 your body you have such a nice figure and the way you conduct yourself is a little different. I feel like you just wear your clothes in such a way that accentuate your best feature. Okay? And there's just, like I said, an innocence to your eyes that really, 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 really turns your person on. They see you as this little innocent creature, but then you just... Oh, God, you're just a crazy sex animal behind closed doors. Let's see what else. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Your person absolutely loves spanking your ass, loves going down on you, okay? This is a person that is full of wanting to touch you, full of kink, absolutely full of just wanting to basically devour you all night long. Mm. I feel like the both of you, after some crazy sex acts, the both of you may just lounge around the house or the apartment in the nude. I feel like the both of you are very, very comfortable being around each other in the nude. But your person loves to spank that ass. Loves to spank that ass. That ass of yours really turns them on. Okay? Really turns them on. Let's see what else they like to do with you sexually. So people pick pot one.
Oh, here's another message. Oh. You cut like a knife, babe. You really, really cut like a knife, your person. They, oof. I feel like in the bedroom you say some very, very sharp words. You may have a sharp tongue. You are two different people. In public, you like you're a sweet little innocent nothing. But in the bedroom, you are a completely different person. With your personal relationships, you really, really, really feel very comfortable. And like I said, your person loves sucking on your tits. And you love being on top. I feel like you just like taking control in the bedroom. It makes you feel free. It makes you feel like a woman or a man to take control of your partner. You love dominating your partner and your partner is totally in awe as to how you are just this little innocent thing. And then next thing you know, they're being dominated by you. So if you're a man, you are just so damn innocent looking and here you are attacking this girl like Mr. Casanova. If you're a woman, you look like Little, Riss, little Miss Riding Hood and here you are coming after your person and just being as sexy as ever. So I feel like this is fun, adventurous lovemaking. I feel like you love being on top. That's a hot sex position that your partner really enjoys you in. I feel like the both of you will feel very comfortable being naked around each other. Your person loves sucking on your nipples. I feel like you really get off on that. They love going down on you. Going down on you is like one of their favorite, favorite pastimes. And they love copying a feel. Now, let's see what else they can, they feel. Okay, what else do they want to do to you? Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. What else does your person want to do? Whoa, that's a lot. Your person definitely has a lot of stuff they want to do. Okay, spirit. What else does your person, your person want to do? Too many? Now I am shuffling this brand new deck I just got today. So what else, Spirit? What does this person want to do? What do they want to do? Pile one. Okay, let's see. What does your person want to do? Ah! <gasps> Rip my panties off. Whoa. Your person wants to rip your panties off. Rip them right off, okay? Whew. Your person loves being in the bedroom with you. Absolutely loves. What else do they want to do? Oh, my God. Your person touches themselves when they think of you. Naughty, naughty. Very naughty person you have there. They love, 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 love to masturbate thinking of you. We told you, you got them. You got them. You really have your person. You are teasing them like crazy. Play with it a little. Nice. Okay, so your person wants you to play with it a little. Rip panties off. So... They want to rip your panties off and they want you to play with them a little bit. Play with their little parts. Not little, but you know, with what they got. And they touch themselves thinking of you. Wow. Oh, there's another message. Bend me over and punish me. <gasps> nice. Wow. Wow. Your person, I told you, your person loves the ass. Bend over and punish me. This is hot stuff, guys. 
So this is what your person feels about you. This is how your person sees you sexually as an adventurous person, but a purring little kitten. And this is some of the things that they would want to say to you or do to you, okay? So if this resonated with you, please comment down below, like, and subscribe. And if you'd like a personal reading, the information will be in the description box below. Have fun. Bye. Wow, that was spicy. Spicy. Okay. I'm going to move on. All right. I'm going to take these cards out because I already put those other ones in. Victim consciousness. People. People for pile two, victim consciousness. Oh, hello, Miss Freak. That's what I know. You know who I'm talking about. This is the freaky. This is my freaky pile. This is my golf. This is the real adventurous pile here, okay? This is the one that wants to get into that whips and chains, this is what I'm talking about. This is whips and chains. Look at this. Everything came out. This is the whips and chains pile. I definitely feel like you like to play with people, okay? You want them to be the victim and you want to dominate them. But sometimes I feel like you like it when they dominate you. It gets you off when someone dominates you, right? Or when you dominate them. You love playing those dom games. So for people who picked pile two... Give me some energy, please. Sexually. Something visual. Let's take a look. What's going on here? Oh, thing went flying. See? All this excitement. Let's take a look. Oh my God, you got the same as the other one, as Pile One. <gasps> So your person loves you too. I love hearing, I love when I see this because the people that are choosing these piles, you guys, you guys, yes, sex should be fun, right? Who says that it's boring? If you're in a relationship with someone, sex should be awesome. That's like your person that you get to like screw constantly. Okay, let's pick another one. Phoenix, oh, 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 oh. oh. Wow. I'm going to tell you what I think is going on here. So, guys, okay, um, you guys, first of all, like I said, this is a dom dynamic. You guys love to play with the whips and chains. I feel like you guys are very much into toys. Um, you guys try everything. I do feel also that this... Um, connection between you and this person is very 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 magical and what i say with the physic phoenix rising it's like every time you guys have sex you can feel the energy okay you can feel the sparks it's incredible you guys i feel go for sessions for hours and hours and you don't stop okay um i do get the sense that you're a little goth um, you guys are a little bit more of the darker on a darker side, not meaning dark like skin, but just darker in general. Okay. I feel like you'd be the type that would wear like all black clothing. Like you're into stuff like that. You guys are into things that are a little bit more adventurous. Okay. I definitely see the toys, the whips and chains, the porn, um, Things are a little bit more on the wild side. Your partner sees you as being this wild, wild, wild woman or this wild, wild, wild man, okay? And they love that about you. I feel like you got this fierce hair thing going on here and you probably wear some sexy ass lingerie that they really get turned on with, okay? So you guys have a really crazy dynamic, but... All in all, you guys really do love each other. I love that I pulled the love card again. So there is love here in this pile. This isn't just like a bang. 
connection. This is a connection that bangs and loves at the same time. And that is a perfect combination, okay? So now, now I want to go into my sexual tarot. And let's see what else your partner really likes about you in the bedroom. This is the very, very adventurous I'm um, having sex all night long, tie me to the bed, whip me, talk dirty, choke me kind of group. But at the same time, you guys love each other, which is so utterly adorable. Okay, first sexy message. Oh. <laughs> Your person likes playing with you. Your person likes playing a little bit, likes teasing you down there. Okay, so there may be some teasing play going on on the down there, and I think you both enjoy that little teasing foreplay. I told you you guys were kink as fuck. Um, this is a very very kinky card. Now I'm not going by the actual. Um, I am not going here by the actual. Um card meanings but if you really want to know this is the ace of pentacles and the star so that's amazing in itself it's going to show me that you are each other's wish there is longevity here in this connection you guys both want to have a lasting connection i didn't do that for the first pile but if you just want to know what tarot cards this is and i'm pulling i'm letting you know but your person you're both into some very very kinky stuff this is temperance, which tells me that you guys really get along very, very well. And your person loves going for a little tasty. I feel like you like to feed your person quite often. Okay. Your person loves going for a taste, but you guys really get along very, very well here. This is a very light... Uh, Sexy, 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 sexy dynamic. Okay, that gets along, that has amazing sex, a little goth, a little freak. I'm going to pull one more energy for you. And you know what, too? Your person, I feel, just loves taking care of you. I feel like your person loves giving you massages in bed, probably likes feeding you food. Um just likes doing all the fun things that couples want to do while they're in bed with each other okay so you guys have a kick-ass dynamic you guys get along great there's longevity here with the ace of pentacles you're each other's wish come true and what is this the ten of wands I feel like sometimes you tire each other out in with the sex because you guys have so much sex. Now, I want to give you some ideas on what the person would say to you sexually. Okay? I want to tell you what this person would say to you sexually. Let's find out all right give me something magical orgasm didn't i just say that you guys have magic this is such a magical connection this is so ridiculous this is such a magical connection and i feel like when the two of you do have sex like the sparks go flying like you could feel the energy coming off of your person that's how insane this is okay let's get another message what round oh my god what round are we on isn't i was saying this the whole time i feel like you guys go all night long definite confirmation there okay another one Let's see what else. Ooh. There's a few messages. Obedient, submissive. Didn't I say that about the Dom? 
Wow, spirit is just confirming everything that I just said to you guys. Coffee in the moaning. Yeah, you guys do this all night long. Come through boo. <laughs> you guys have some seriously, 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 seriously wicked sex that is absolutely amazing. Um, and I really feel that the both of you just love it. And this energy here and this connection just feels so, I, I like it. It feels very, um, it just feels right to me. Like, it just feels right. Like, I feel like you guys got the perfect combination of spice, of sugar and spice, I just, I like your energy together. And I really think that God, you guys are going to be, you're going for the long haul, guys. Okay. So this is your sexual message. If this resonated with you, please comment down below, like, and subscribe. And if you'd like a personal reading, the information will be in the description box below. Okay. That's hot. I like your energy a lot. All right. Bye-bye, victim consciousness. See you later. All right. Last but not least, how teachable are you? How teachable are you? Hmm. Okay, for people who pick this pile, I feel like these are my versions here. Okay, I feel like you guys may be new to the sex game. This may be one of your first relationships. Okay, you may be the lovemaking pile. A pile that's very sweet and very innocent. Okay, I don't get vibes here that you guys are really like going crazy in the bedroom. I feel like this is more of the I'm making love. This is my first boyfriend, my first girlfriend, or someone that I'm really wanting to be intimate with in a really, really good way. Okay, so this is the energy I'm getting for you guys. Okay, family and tribe. I'm going to grab one more. I feel like you guys have known each other for a while. Okay. I feel like this is a connection that you guys knew each other maybe since childhood, but this is something that is like blossomed, okay, and healing. I don't see your sex. I'm getting a very calm vibe here. I don't see your sex as being crazy. I see this as being more of a very calm, very lovemaking vibe. I feel like that when you two have sex, which in my, in your terms, I should correct myself. I feel like you make love. Um, I feel that the both of you really enjoy it. It's very healing. Okay. I feel that your person touches you with very soft hands. It's a very soft touch. Okay. They caress you up and down. They um, just are very gentle with you, okay? I, I also feel that you could be a very emotional person. Um, there's a lot of emotions that come in here in the bedroom. Um, and I also see here too that you guys, like I said, could have known each other for a long time. But there's like a deep, like a, like a bond here. Even if you're like, newly going out or you're like virginal kind of people you still have a knowing of this person that you're with i feel like this is someone that you feel very safe with very secure um and they're just here to protect you okay i i don't get the sense that this person treats you in any kind of crazy way 
And I really feel that your person sees you in kind of a more ladylike or gentlemanlike way, okay? So now I'm going to get some, like, how they feel about the sex. I like, got really, like, some positions possibly that they will enjoy. And I'm going to be a little bit more gentle in this pile because I feel like that's the kind of energy that I'm talking to today, okay? All right, so give me an energy for this pile, please, spirit. Oh, that's too many. Yeah, I just, the Knight of Cups. Yeah, this is a very romantic connection. This is a connection that the two of you really just love I feel like in this card it looks like a youthful girl I feel like this is a youthful couple I, I mean I could be wrong but I feel like the sense that you guys are very young you're very inexperienced in a sense and you guys just like having fun with each other I feel like you enjoy each other's company you just you just enjoy being around each other okay and this is something that you really take great pleasure in, just going out with each other and just escaping and enjoying things. Yeah, I mean, again, family and tribe, this is a picture of a home. I feel like the both of you probably hang out in each other's houses, maybe at each other's family's homes. I, I don't see this as being a connection that's really adventurous in the bedroom. I, I'm not getting any of these images here. I'm getting people that just love each other very romantic soft sex healing sex emotional for a chemistry um let me see i'm going to take one more energy yeah you see i feel like the both of you just really, you guys are just very gentle. You really like spending time with one another, um, caressing one another. See, I don't see any sexual positions in any of these cards. So what I'm guessing here is that the both of you, like I said, you could be an experienced you also could just be very, you know, you guys just like having fun and just hanging out and just being with each other. I think your families know each other. It's one of those connections where you kind of grew up together. Your families just probably know who you are, like each other. It's like one of those, oh, like you're dating my kid and so on and so forth. It's like they wanted you guys to date. And it's just a very gentle, loving connection. And I really like this energy coming from the both of you. There's a really sweet innocence here that almost makes me like, I'm going to pull some of these between the sheets cards, but I feel like what I'm going to say this, I don't really think there's really that much like kink going on here, but if your person were to get kinky, this is what they would say. Okay, they maybe would want to play some games with you that are a little wicked. Intense, passionate sex. I do feel like you guys do have good love making, passionate sex. Whatever daddy wants, daddy gets. Oh, okay. So your person may want to explore the daddy element there. Okay, and they want to imprint on you. Oh. I feel like this is sweet, puppy, cute, romantic kind of love here. I, I don't, I don't really, um, I don't know. I, I just don't get a vibe here where you guys are like kinky. I, I could be wrong. Please let me know in the comments below. But I'm not getting this for this vibe. I'm getting a young, beautiful vibe, a young, playful vibe. 
And you guys, I feel like, are just learning about this stuff, okay? So if that resonated with you, please comment down below, like, and subscribe. And if you'd like a personal reading, the information will be in the description box below. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this reading. I thought it would be really fun to see the energies of people and how they are. And just to give you a little insight on your bed and like what goes on, like, you know, in your partner's mind and how do they see you and all that fun stuff sexually. Because sometimes you just want to know. Um, but anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed this. I hope to do more readings like this in the future. And have a wonderful night. Bye.